I know a ton of you guys waste a lot of time bank standing at the GE, just like I'm doing right here, or even just standing here flexing your skill emotes, doing a little dance, doing a little salute, or doing a casual little GE dance just like this. So if you're like one of those GE bank standing guys and you don't know what skill to grow, you don't know how to make GP, well I'm going to show you 10 methods how you can bank stand, AFK, make some GP, get some XP, everyone's happy. Let's get into it. Cleaning Grimy Herbs is a great AFK moneymaker since Jagex updated it in September of 2020. So the way your character cleans all herbs now is just by clicking on one of them in your inventory and your character will automatically clean all 28 of them and it'll take about 32 seconds of full AFK time. For this example, I bought 300 Grimy Guams, the lowest level herb there is in the game, for about 65,000 GP. And then I had to buy an additional 300 just because I was getting close to that 10 minute timer that I set. So in about 10 minutes, I was able to clean 449 herbs. So I put that in the GE and they insta sold for 115k. I then multiplied the 449 grimy herbs that we bought for the 218 GP each that I paid for. And I got a total of 97k. So then I subtracted the 115k that we sold them for minus the 97k that we bought them for. And I was left with 17,960 GP. So I multiplied that by six since I did do this method for 10 minutes and you get 107K an hour. And that's just from cleaning grimy wombs. So as you see, I checked the profit and loss by buying each of the low level herbs, starting with Guam, which we just did and going all the way to Harlander, cleaning it and then selling it and seeing what the profit margins were. At the time of making this video, Harlanders were the best profit margin at 43 GP each. I suggest you just buy them, one of each, clean them and see which one is giving you the most profit. Turning Leaping Sturgeon into Caviar. Each inventory will take you about 45 seconds of full AFK time. I bought 300 of these for 70 GP each costing about 21k and I did have to buy an additional 100 because I was getting close to my 10 minute timer. I set a timer and used a knife in my inventory to cut each fish. This will grant you 15 XP and a chance to receive the caviar. If you have level 80 cooking or above, that chance is 100%. After 10 minutes, I did cut 319 of the fish. I sold off the fish offcuts and the caviar for a total of 75,897K. I subtracted out the cost of the fish at 22,330, and I was left with a profit of 53K in just 10 minutes. Multiply that by six, and we have 321K an hour from full AFK time, and we expect about 28K cooking XP an hour. Making Mahogany Planks, this does require you to be on the Lunar Spellbook and have 86 magic. Each plank does require one log in your inventory, along with one nature rune, two astral runes, and 1050 GP. And you should equip an earth staff as well to save on the earth runes. Each inventory will last about a minute and 30 seconds, and you can make up to 1040 planks an hour by doing this method. Each cast does grant you 90 XP, so about 93k in magic XP an hour. So for the profit and the cost, a log is going to cost you 563 GP, nature rune 110, an astral rune 104, plus the 1050 GP, then subtract out all of that with the sale price of the mahogany log, and you're looking at 436 GP in profit per log that you make so multiply that by the hourly planks you can make and you're looking at about 450k an hour
Making unfinished potions, you can do this with just about any potion, but for this example I used Raynar potions. Each inventory will take you but 9 seconds, but granting you 0 XP for this method. For this I tested making unfinished Raynar potions. Shout out to the meme page Grimy Raynar on Instagram. By doing this method, you use a Raynar weave on a vial of water, which does require 30 herb lore. I bought 300 of these and did it for 5 minutes. I was able to sell them each for 7,012 GP. So by subtracting the sale price of 2.1 million with the price I bought everything, I was left with 39.9k in profit in just 5 minutes. Multiply that by 12 and we have 478k an hour making unfinished Raynar potions. Crushing bird nests. This one is simple and requires no skill level and does not give you any XP, just requires some starting cash. For this, all you will have to do is buy some bird nests from the GE and crush them with a pistol and mortar in your inventory. Just make sure there is enough profit margin for doing this. Each inventory will take about 50 seconds of full AFK time. I went ahead and bought 300 of these for 2,194,000 GP and I ended up selling them rushed for 2,215,000. Subtract that difference and you're left with 20,700 GP in about 10 minutes. Multiply that by 6 and your hourly profit is 124,200 GP. Cutting diamonds into bolt tips does require level 65 fletching and grants you 7 XP every time. Just be sure to check the buy and sell price in the GE before doing this in bulk to make sure there's enough profit for you. Each inventory will take about 1 minute and 20 seconds of full AFK time. For this method, I went ahead and bought 400 cut diamonds in the GE and set a 10 minute timer. I was able to cut 189 of them in 10 minutes and the total cost was 319,788k. The tips all sold for 378k. So once you subtract out the difference, I made 58,212k in just 10 minutes. Multiply that number by 6 and we have a total hourly profit of just under 350k. Now making forest rations requires level 35 in both cooking and woodcutting. For this method, we will be using one tuna and one magic leaf, which in turn will give us 24 forest rations. Each inventory does take about 50 seconds and grants you 51 cooking XP every time you make a ration. For this method, I only ended up purchasing 100 tunas and 100 magic leaves, and it took just about 3 minutes to make 88 of them. In those 3 minutes, I used 88 tunas and 88 magic leaves to make 2,112 forest rations. I did some quick math subtracting out the total cost, minus what I sold them for, and it ended up being 10,912 GP in profit, and that was just in 3 minutes. So you multiply that by 20 and you have 218,000 GP in profit for the hour and about 90,000 cooking XP. And this is full AFK. Fletching is nothing out of the ordinary, but stringing maple longbows is surprisingly profitable. About 98 GP each at the time of making this video. Although this is less AFK time, with each inventory only taking about 17 seconds. I bought 350 of these and set a 10 minute timer. At the end, I was able to finish all 350 and sold them for 95,550 GP. After subtracting out the cost, I was left with 29,750 GP in profit in about 10 minutes. So multiply that by six and we have 178,500 GP an hour and about 121,000 XP an hour in fletching. 
Making Ultra Compost net to about 194 GP per compost you make at the time of making this video. It also grants you one farming XP every time you do make an Ultra Compost. Do note, you also only need level one farming to make an Ultra Compost. You need one Super Compost and two Volcanic Ash to make each one. So I went ahead and bought 250 of these and I was able to make 250 Ultra Compost in just over five minutes. Each inventory will take you 35 seconds of full AFK time. At the end, I sold off 250 and collected 86,500 GP, and I subtracted out the cost of the super compost and volcanic ash, and I was left with 42,750 GP. So we multiply that number by 12 to get us the full hour, and we have 513K an hour, and that's GP, and about 3,300 XP an hour in farming. Enchanting jewelry is our last AFK money-making method. For this example, I will be using the level 1 enchantment spell to turn opal necklaces into dodgy necklaces. Each enchantment spell for this requires one cosmic rune and one water rune, or wear a water staff. Each inventory will automatically be enchanted and take about a minute and 50 seconds. You will only need a level 7 mage to cast this specific spell, and it will grant you 17.5 XP per cast. And at the end of my 10 minute timer, I was able to make 135 dodgy necklaces. I sold that for just about 244k. Then after subtracting out the cost of the necklaces and the runes, I was left with 51k in profit in just 10 minutes. Multiply that by 6, and we have just about 306k an hour for GP and about 14k in mage XP. Hope you found these methods helpful. If you did enjoy, do drop a like and a sub. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers this year. And if you're interested, do check out some of the other videos on my channel.